My name's Callum, I'm from Infigo Software. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Catfish Editor. Now the Catfish Editor provides the core of our web-to-print solution and our Catfish platform. It is this that sits to compete in the web-to-print market by providing a configurable and powerful solution comprising of template editing, file upload and variable data functionality. The intuitive nature of the Catfish platform allows for anyone anywhere to submit customized print-ready files whilst maintaining and sticking to the strict brand guidelines. Templates are typically created within our own Infigo Designer Acrobat plugin. Now this works on both Macs and PCs and allows the user to create variable fields on any standard PDF. Just to show you this, I'm going to very quickly open up a business card a standard web to print item that most of you have already seen but it just very quickly shows some of that, that core functionality as you can see there's certain areas which we can make changes to certain areas which are variable and others which are static now you as a client always get the ability to create these yourself because we give you the tools and the knowledge to do so as we can see, we have set areas for images, set areas for text. The image field seen here competes slightly different to many of the other solutions on the market because we create an image field within the product itself, thereby the user can insert an image into that area. They can zoom in, zoom out, they can position it where they need to. They don't need to crop that image or save it outside as you do in many other solutions. We obviously have those standard items of upload images. Now we can integrate with many different third parties on this basis as we can see here Dropbox, Facebook, Instagram, Flickr as well as a company called Deposit Photos that allows for a third party deposit bank of around 40 million images that the end user also has access to. Other standard features include downloading of a low res PDF, save it as a project or simply add it to our basket and continue on. Now these templates can be set up really as anything from these standard variable items to stock items to promotional items and also an area for customers to upload their own print ready artwork. Each of these can sit side by side very very easily. Now when you want to start doing more complex documents the system can handle that as well. We can put rules and restrictions into each of these text fields and image fields for example, this first image field, we can only choose from the images which are embedded within this PDF. However, the second image field, we have the opportunity to upload new ones, once again, from different third parties, from separate albums which we've already created, and we can have that functionality to move it around again. As I mentioned before, variable data can also be handled within Catfish itself. From a simple upload of a standard CSV file, which we term as a batch merge, to some slightly more complex scripting variables. In this particular example, we can see that dependent on some of the items which I've changed, Some other amendments will occur within the document. I'm going to change the fields to whatever suits me and as we can see colors change, images change, fonts change and things like that. Now in order to very quickly show you the user flow I'm going to add this to my basket. We then come into our e-commerce back end. Now this is a fairly standard cart everything that you see is configurable um, you do not do not need to allow people to have discount codes or coupons but the options there if required from a user perspective I can still make changes to quantity I can see prices I can enter these codes as I previously described and make changes or restrict this where I need to if I simply go through to checkout 
I can now go through the simple single page checkout process. You might have a multitude of addresses as options, or we can simply enter new details if required. Once again, everything that you see is configurable. So in a B2B environment, a lot of these uh, steps will not be needed. However, if you do need to turn them on, then you can. In terms of technology, the only difference between B2B and B2C is purely locking those storefronts down when a user logs on. So in a B2B world, you don't, do not want anyone to be accessing your products, so they can see it side by side. As a final confirm confirmation, we can see that product, we can order it, and we can get a confirmation email in regard to it. Please feel free to contact us for a free demo. There will be other videos alongside this.